Today I'm going to be sharing with you what I think are the best Lavoy air purifiers on the market. In the last four years I've managed to test 13 air purifiers from Lavoy looking at air cleaning performance, sound level generation and energy usage. By the end of this video you will know which is the best Lavoy air purifier for your specific needs. I started testing and reviewing air purifiers back in 2020 and Lavoy stood out by having great performance without a massive price tag. In fact, the Lavoit Core 300 was the first air purifier under $100 that we were happy to recommend. And since then, Lavoit has released a large number of units, and we've had the great pleasure to test the vast majority of them. Here's the thing, not all Lavoit air purifiers are equal. In fact, there's some Lavoit units that you should avoid, and I'll discuss this at the end of this video, so keep watching. All of our recommendations are based on first-hand experiments, including our performance test, which looks at how well an air purifier removes PM1, PM2.5, and PM10. And these are the particles that cause us the most harm. Let's jump in with the best air purifier for most people. The Vital 200S is one of the latest models from Lavoy. In our performance test, it managed to clean our 728 cubic feet test room in just 18 minutes, which is impressive considering you can find it for $189.99. Our performance scores matched up with the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers KDOS score, short for Clean Air Delivery Rate, and it had some great scores. It had a dust KDOS of 263 CFM, smoke 242 CFM, and pollen 240 CFM. Even when we tested this device running at speed two, it still managed to clean our test room in 40 minutes, which is the same as the Lavoit Core 300 running at its top speed. But it's not just about air cleaning speed. The holy grail of an air purifier is that it's excellent at cleaning the air, but also as quiet as possible. Whilst the Lavoit Vital 200S is not a quiet device by any stretch, it's not the loudest that we've seen. At speed 1, it was 38.3 decibels, speed 2, 41.9 decibels, speed 3, 53.8 decibels. And its top speed at speed 4 was 57.7 decibels. Of course, those numbers alone don't mean too much, but we can compare that to other devices we've tested. The Smart Air SA600 was 56 decibels, able to clean our room in 33 minutes. The Win X5502 hit 58.9 decibels to clean our room in 20 minutes. And the Kowei Air Mega AP1512HH hit 60.1 decibels at 25 minutes. And the Molecular Air Mini hit a whopping 68 decibels and took 53 minutes to clean our test room. Something that impressed us during our test was how much energy that the Vital 200S used. In standby, it used 0.97 watts. In sleep, 3.21 watts. Speed 1, 5.71 watts and speed 2, 8 watts, speed 3, 31.96 watts, and at its top speed, it was 44.55 watts. At its top speed, it will mean you only have to spend $46.83 per year on your energy bill, which is impressive considering how well it managed to clean our test room. But it's not just energy costs that add to the running costs of an air purifier. Mechanical filters like those used in the Lavoit Vital 200S will need to be replaced. Lavoit recommends that you replace these filters every 12 months. This will add an additional $59.99 if you choose the standard OEM filters, which will mean you'll have a running cost of $117.94. Now this compares really well with other devices we tested. The Smart Air SA600 will have a total running cost of $115.99. The WinX5502, a total running cost of $125.44. And the Kowei Air Mega AP1512HH, $195.79. And the Molecule Air Mini will be $275.66. Features wise, it comes with app support via the VSync app and has an auto mode thanks to its onboard air quality sensor. Now, one thing I really like about the Vital 200S over other devices in the Lavoit range is that it comes with a removable pre-filter. We know from our own test that a dirty pre-filter can really affect the efficiency and also mean that you have to replace the filters more often. So having something that you can remove from the device clean and put in is much easier than say what we see with the Core series where the pre-filter is attached to the filter. The only real downside to the Lavoit Vital 200S is the fact that they sold the device as having true HEPA filters. But after the Dyson made a complaint to the Better Business Bureau, Lavoit removed the term HEPA from all their marketing. So we can assume that it's not true HEPA. The second is the design of the filters. Now Lavoit, like other manufacturers, uses a bonded filter, which means their particle and carbon filter are all one thing. The problem with this is that the carbon filter runs out, you have to throw the whole filter away, which is less than ideal. 
Now, I much prefer the separate gas filters that we see with Smart Air, Air Doctor, WinX, and Coway. Our best choice for large spaces is the Lavoie Core 600S. According to the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers, the Lavoie Core 600 is the most powerful device in the Lavoie range. It's able to provide 4.8 air changes in spaces up to 635 square feet, and it has a dust KDAR of 373 CFM. When we tested the Lavoie Core 600's particle removal speed, it managed to clean all PM1 pollutants in our test room in just 15 minutes. The biggest surprise is its price tag. It's only $299.99. Normally you have to pay a lot more for such powerful air cleaning. We can see this when we compare to other devices we've tested. The Smart Air Blast Mini cleaned in 12 minutes, but cost $649. The Air Doctor 3000, 14 minutes, but $519. The Lavoie Everest Air, 14 minutes, but $499. And the Blue Air Blue Pure 211, did 18 minutes, but at $349. This air cleaning performance means the Core 600S must have a powerful fan, and powerful fans can sometimes run quite loud, so I was keen to see how much sound it generated. At speed one, it generated 4.9 decibels, speed two, 45.9 decibels, speed three, 52.3 decibels, and at turbo speed, its highest speed is 61.4 decibels. Now compared to other devices, the Lavoie Core 600S was slightly higher from a sound perspective than other devices we tested. So the Blue Air Pure 211, that was our quietest at 55.7 decibels, the Smart Air Blast Mini 56.3 decibels, the Lavoie Everest Air 57.8 decibels, although the Air Doctor 3000 was still louder at 63.6 decibels. Whilst the Lavoie Core 600S is relatively cheap to buy, what about its ongoing running costs? Now Lavoie recommends that you have to change the filters in this device every six months. And when we include that with the energy costs, we can compare its running costs to other devices we've tested. So for example, the Lavoie Everest Air costs $99.99 .99 for filters, adds an additional total running cost of $173.57. In comparison, the Lavoie Core 600S, $139.98 in replacement filters, means a total running cost of $191.49. The Blue Air Pu Blue Pure 211 has a running cost, total running cost with filters and energy of $197.80. The Air Doctor 3000, total running cost of $236.43. And the Smart Air Blast Mini has a total running cost of $278.30. Now another feature of the Lavoie Core 600S is it has app support via V-Sync and an auto mode, including a screen that tells you how bad the air is in your home. Now something I don't like that I mentioned about the Lavoie Vital 200S is the pre-filter on the Core 600S is attached to the filter, which means if you need to clean it, you have to either remove the entire filter or it's just a little bit awkward and it means that you're less likely to keep this clean. But for those people who want to keep a large room free of particles, the Core 600S provides that ability without the large price tag you normally get with other brands. For best budget option, we've chosen the Lavoie Vital 100S. I was super impressed by the Vital 100S, which is basically a smaller version of the Lavoie Vital 200S. It has an RRP of $139.99, but at the time of this video, it was available for $109.99, which makes it a great option for those on a budget. When we tested this in the same test room, we test all of our devices, it managed to clean all PM1 pollutants in just 28 minutes which is a good 12 minutes quicker than the $99 Lavoie Core 300. And you get some great KDAR scores for this device. It has a KDAR for smoke of 134 CFM, 146 CFM for dust, 186 CFM for pollen. Now the Lavoie Vital 100S also uses non-HEPA grade filters as with all of the Lavoie's in the video today, but this isn't such a bad thing as actually non-HEPA grade can actually make a better air purifier. When we tested how much sound, it performed fairly well. At speed 1, it was 37.5 decibels, speed 2, 42.6 decibels, speed 3, 48.7 decibels, and its highest turbo speed, it was 53.8 decibels. This compared really well to other air purifiers we tested. So for example, the Shark HP 102, which took 38 minutes to clean our test room, hit 52.2 decibels. The Lavoie Core 300, 54.5 decibels and the WinX A230, 57.9 decibels, and the Molecular Air Mini, 68.2 decibels. 
Another winning aspect that we saw in the Vital 200S, which carries over in the Vital 100S, was the amount of energy it consumed. At speed 1 it was only 5 watts, speed 2 8.7 watts, and speed 3 15.4 watts. At its highest top speed, the turbo speed, it hit 27.3 watts. This makes the Levoit Vital 100S one of the most efficient air purifiers we've looked at. Comparing to other Levoit devices we've tested, the Levoit Core 300 hit a top fan speed energy usage of 35.5 watts, the Levoit Vital 200S hit 44.55 watts, and the older Levoit Vital 100 hit 45.99 watts. It's clear that whatever Levoit's done, they've really improved the efficiency of the fan motor. Running at top speed 24 seven days a year, this will add an additional $28.38 to your energy bill. Now it's not just energy costs that add to the running costs of an air purifier, we also need to account for filter replacement. And Lavoit recommends for the Vital 100S that you replace the filters every nine months. Now this means that you're gonna be spending on OEM filters $81.98 per year. And if you notice, this isn't much less than what we see with the larger Vital 200S, which is why our general recommendation to people is go for slightly bigger air purifiers than you need because the running costs are gonna be similar or not much higher than you get with much smaller devices. We can see this in our comparison with other devices we've tested. So the Allen Breathe Smart Flex costs you $83.23, the Smart Air SA600 has a running cost of $115, and the Lavoit Vital 200S $117.94, and the Winx 5502 $125.44. Now the Vital 100S comes with all the extra features that we have with the Vital 200S, including the app, auto mode, and removable pre-filter. While I still recommend going larger if you can, if you have a maximum budget of $110, then this is the best air purifier you can get from Lavoie. The best Lavoie air purifier money can buy, we've chosen the Lavoie Everest Air. It has a large price tag with an RRP of $499.99, but it still managed to clean our test room of PM1 pollutants in just 14 minutes. What's even better, when we tested it running at speed one, which was only 39 decibels, it still managed to clean our room in 25 minutes, which makes sense when you look at its impressive KDAR scores from the Association of Home Appliance Manufacturers. It has a smoke KDAR of 363 CFM, a dust KDAR of 365 CFM, and a pollen KDAR score of 428 CFM. We also looked at the amount of sound it generated at each of these fan speeds. In sleep mode, it was 35.9 decibels, speed one, 39.1 decibels, speed two, 43.2 decibels, and speed three, 48.6 decibels. Whilst at turbo speed, its highest fan speed, it hit 57.8 decibels. Now sound levels are very similar to what we saw in our total best for most people, the Lavoie Vital 200S, but the Lavoie Everest Air managed to clean a lot more air. We can compare this by looking at the stats for other devices we've tested. So the Smart Air Blast Mini, which took 12 minutes to clean our test room, hit top speed sound of 56.3 decibels, the Lavoie Vital 200S, 57.7 decibels for 18 minutes. Lavoie Everest Air, 57.8 decibels for 14 minutes. The Lavoie Core 600S, 61.4 decibels for 15 minutes. And the Air Doctor 3000 hit 63.6 decibels to clean our test room in 14 minutes. But the high performing Everest Air isn't just efficient when it comes to sound, it's also efficient when it comes to energy usage. In standby mode, it, it, generate, it used 1.26 watts. In sleep mode, 4.87 watts. Speed one, 9.85 watts. Speed two, 15.59 watts. Speed three, 26.6 watts. And turbo top speed hit 69.8 watts. If you were to run the Everest Air 24 hours a day for every day of the year, it would add an additional $73.58 to your energy bill, which is impressive considering how powerful this device is. When we look at total yearly running costs, we include also the filter replacement costs on top of the energy usage. And here the Lavoie Everest Air is impressive. So the Lavoie Everest Air will cost you $99.99 for OEM filters for a year with the additional energy cost brings the total running cost to $173.57. The Lavoie Core 600S needs the filters change in every six months, so filter costs are slightly higher at $139.98, brings the total cost to $191.49. The Blue Air Blue Pure 211 Plus 
will have a total running cost of $197.80, the Air Doctor 3000, $236.43, and the Smart Air Blast Mini has a total yearly running cost of $278.30. Now the Lavoie Everest Air also comes with an array of smart features with the V-Sync app, the auto mode, and even an onboard screen that tells you how bad the air is in your room. But the reason I'm including the Lavoie Everest Air as my best choice if money is no object is actually because of how it looks. Many air purifiers can kind of look a little ugly. Uh, the Lavoie Core 600S was described as a nappy bin or diaper bin for those in America. Uh, but the Lavoie Everest Air, I have to say, is a good looking device. It wouldn't look out of place in any sort of modern home. Whilst the Lavoie Everest Air does have a higher cost, the fact that it is a great performing device and has the looks to match is the reason why it's my choice if money is no object as the best Lavoie Air purifier. Right, before I finish this video, just a quick roundup of the devices we featured. So the best for most people is the Lavoie Vital 200S, the best for large spaces is the Lavoie Core 600S, and the best budget option was the Lavoie Vital 100S, and the best that money can buy is the Lavoie Everest Air. I also wanted to look at a number of Lavoie air purifiers that are worth your consideration but didn't quite make our top list. While the four air purifiers are featured are very much the best of the devices we've tested, we know that many of these units are not available in specific regions. For example, the Lavoie Vital 200S isn't available in the UK, while there are others that aren't available in other countries around the world. So I wanted to look at some of the Lavoies that we've tested that were good and worthy of your consideration. The first one is the Lavoie Course 400S. It was very effective at removing particles in our test, managed to clean our test room in 22 minutes, and it comes with all the features that we see with some of the top end Lavoie devices. The other option is the Lavoie Core 300 and 300S. Now the Lavoie Core 300 is an older model, but it's available everywhere. So it's a good choice, especially if you can't find some of the other choices on our list. Now the 300 is still a solid performer, but it doesn't have any bells or whistles and is slightly less efficient than the newer 300S. Now the 300S does come with auto mode and is much more efficient than the older 300, but depending on the price, often there are other options that are better, such as the Vital 100S. But if you can't get access to it, the Lavoie Core 300S is still a good unit. Now it's time to look at the Lavoie units you should avoid. I mentioned in, in the introduction that there are some Lavoie models that you should just look past. And the two models I'm gonna talk about is the Lavoie Core Mini and the Lavoie H128. Now, both of these devices are less than $50 and they look cute and they don't take up so much space, but when we tested their performance, they were really underpowered. The Lavoie Core Mini took 113 minutes to clean our test room, while the LVH128 took 86 minutes. The same goes for the popular LVH132 and Core 200S. Both of them took nearly over an hour to clean our test room of PM1 pollutants. And the problem with these small devices isn't just that they're not powerful enough, it's that the long-term running costs are nearly close to devices that can clean a lot of air. So when we compare this, the problem is, is that these smaller devices go through filters so quickly that the filter replacement costs really start to add up and it makes it hard to recommend any of these mini devices, not just those from Lavoie. Another device that you should avoid is the older Lavoie Vital 100. It's still sold on Lavoie.com and Amazon.com, but it's a much older device, and even at a slightly cheaper cost than the 100S, it's just not worth it. Its air cleaning performance is much lower, and it's gonna cost you a lot more in energy costs alone. The final Lavoie model that you should recommend is the Lavoie Pure 131S. Now, we tested this device years ago, and whilst it wasn't that effective, the reason it's on our list is because we've seen so many people having faults, especially happening after the warranty period is over. Now, considering there's so many other Lavoie options, you're just worth ignoring this device and sticking to some of the ones that we've featured. I hope this video will help you choose the right air purifier for your specific needs. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you choose a Lavoie air purifier and you find this video useful, then please use the links in my description. These will help us receive a small commission from the retail you buy from, which will help us to have more funds to create more videos and run more tests. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.